All right, we are back with episode nine. All right, we left off in the food court with the survivors. Let's begin to make our way back to the safe room. Now, before we go, I want to talk about the survivors a little. See, there's two kinds of survivors in this game. There's survivors I like to call soft survivors, like Aaron, and then there's survivors I like to call hard survivors, like Bert. Like, you see Bert, you see how he's actively trying to kill zombies? That makes him a hard survivor. Aaron, if he's surrounded by zombies, he will not swing the bat he has. He will just stand there and take it. Therefore, he is a soft survivor. And that is my reasoning behind the survivors. Come, Leia. We must make leave. Huff, huff, huff. Hup, 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 hup. Stop. Thank you very much. Drink this. Thank You're you welcome. Very much. Ah, you guys are all right. All right, let's go. Follow me. All right, so we're gonna wait. I could, I could use some liquor. Thank you. Before we go, can never have enough liquor. All right, let's get out of here. To the safe room we go. Okay, the courtyard is really hard to get survivors across because for some reason wide open areas and survivors just don't go good together. Especially when the wide open area is filled with zombies. And I left Bert and Aaron on accident because they weren't close enough to the door when I left. Which is annoying. Yeah, watch that. See, that little distance right there, that made me leave them. Ah, oh, this game sometimes, I swear. It's terrible. Now they're with me, though. It's all good. So I would suggest sticking to the wall when you're going from the food court back to paradise. Because there are less zombies against the wall most of the time. The larger crowds usually chill in the middle of the park. And every now and then you're going to want to stop and wait for Aaron. Thank you very much. As I said before, he is soft. It takes time to do anything. Oh god. Hurry! There's no time. Paradise Plaza is just across the way. Oh man, that's a lot of zombies. Gotta hurry. Gotta go, gotta book it, gotta get out of here. Yep, there I got caught. Thank you very much. Wait there. It's so, okay, another thing to note when you are escorting survivors, there's weapons that I like to call head crushers. Like, you see the sledgehammer? See how it's busting people's heads open? If you have a head crushing weapon, it can insta kill a survivor if you accidentally hit them. So be careful when using a weapon like the sledgehammer. Like, let's say Aaron was getting held onto by a zombie, and I hit him with a hammer on accident, it could possibly kill him in one hit, and I would lose him. So just watch that. And Otis, I do not feel like taking your call right now, so shut up. And Otis is very persistent with his calls. Thank you very much. Oh my god. Escorting people in this game is such a chore. Bust a cat, Bert. This is why you're going to want to have a shotgun on you at all times. So you can actually give the survivors you're escorting a weapon and just let them kind of clear out the area. Ow. But they will shoot you as well, so be careful. Follow me. Alright, we're almost Follow there. Me. Just ferrying them along. Now, the achievement for saving all the survivors is called Saint. And I've tried it once or twice. I can't do it, to tell you the truth. I really cannot do that achievement. Thank you very much. It's a very difficult achievement. Like the timing on some of the survivors is very close. Follow me. Like if you go save one, you might miss a different one. It's it's a back and forth kind of thing. All right, now getting in the doors is the worst part, especially in the courtyard. So you're gonna wanna just put a waypoint down and kinda ferry them all over. 
Somebody's in North Plaza in the supermarket. It's in a real panic. Interesting. Alright, come on, everybody. No! Dang it, Bert. Oh my god. Bert. This is terrible. Look at this. Take the shotgun. Save Aaron. Why are you so soft, Aaron? Oh, you, you took my wine! I did not want to give that to you. I need my wine, woman. Alright, let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. There's no time. Alright. Now just through paradise and we're home free. Now I would also suggest using this little water area right here because there's usually only one or two zombies in it. As you can see. Only problem is you have to put someone on your back down and actually they have to climb up. Over there. Kill him, Bert. Whoops. <laughs> Alright, moving right along. Make, making pretty good time. If I do say so myself. Let's gotta clear out this little area. Over there! Yeah. Bert, look out. Oh my god, I think Aaron's being devoured. Oh my god, how did this even happen? Look at this. This boy ran into a crowd of like two dozen zombies. Come on, Aaron, you're so close. Push it. Push those limits. Get your little candy butt move. Where are you going? The waypoint is over there. Go. Go. Oh my god. What is this guy doing? You gonna go yet? Are you gonna go yet? Alright, you know what? We're leaving him. Yep. Everybody say goodbye to Aaron. Bye, Aaron. Have fun with the zombies. Come on! Damn it! Have fun. I'll give him one more chance to get Damn. over here. <laughs> one more. Alright, we're going. Peace. I tried my best. He just didn't have the will to live. Once again, hunting knife. Good backup weapon. Get one if you can. I also need to go back for Leia. So I will leave Bert here. Alright, let's go. Yeah, as you can see, when you leave a survivor in an area that you've already been in, their health continuously goes down like Aaron's on the side of the screen. But I really don't care because Aaron's an idiot. Yeah, Aaron Swoop. His name's even spelled stupid. It has two A's. Oh, God. Alright. Almost home for it. Accidentally hit land inside it. Fire! Follow me! Little closer. Alright, that should be good enough. Alright, go. I don't need this. I really do not need a severed hand in this situation. Thank you very much. 
Alright, so I'm going to get my shotgun back. Because shotguns are kind of hard to come by. Got to make a quick... Got to make a trip to the gun store to get one. It's really the only way. But yeah, another successful escort mission. As terrible as it went. You're very welcome, Bert. <laughs> level up. And yes, we get a level up. And mission. And I'll never see what my level up got me now. Yo, Frank! Give me a hand here. What what gives? What's up, Brad's work? Considering the helicopter and all, we have to work together. But that doesn't mean we can tell you everything. And everything we do tell you can't necessarily be printed. Yeah, so? <coughs> so, I just want you to appreciate the situation. Well, we're up to our necks in zombies. Yeah, I think I appreciate the situation just fine. Zombies. I still can't believe all this, you know? Seems so unreal. I know, right? Who would have thunk it? You all right there? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> oh, man. I love their witty banter. You should rest a while, Brad. You go ahead and catch some sleep first. We can switch in four hours, okay? Alright, so mission accomplished. Fun times all around. Grab some coffee creamer. Go ahead and take another nap. And I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. And I will see you guys next time.